all right everybody what's up this is gonna be a video just one problem we are going to do the shell method and we are gonna revolve a graph around the line x equal 2 we're not gonna be revolving around the x or y axis so let's go ahead and get started so it says find the volume of the solid generated by revolving the first quadrant region bounded by y equals 4 minus x squared x equals 0 and y equals 0 about the line x equal 2. All right, so as you know, the first thing we need to do is we need to draw a picture. All right, so let's draw the graph here. And so we know 4 minus x squared, that is, a, that is a parabola that opens downward with the vertex at 0, 4. And so there we have it. Now, yes, it goes, it continues on this way, but we don't, we don't need that part of the graph because it tells us the, we just want the first quadrant. So we're just interested in this part of it. Now, we want to revolve it, revolve it about the line x equal 2. All right, so, I mean, we're going to need to know uh, where this graph crosses the axis. So if we take the 4 minus x squared, 4 minus x squared, now let me, let me do that over here. So we're going to take 4 minus x squared equals 0, so x squared equals 4, so x is equal to plus or minus 2. And so we can see that it crosses the x-axis at x equal 2. Okay. All right. Now, let's draw in the line x equal 2. Well, that's right here, isn't it? And you can see this is the axis we're revolving it about and we are using the shell method okay we're going to use the shell method so let's draw our rectangle in so there's our rectangle now I want to show you this when I do when I do shell method disk method I don't draw the whole picture like it would look like this if we drew it. Uh, we've got this. There's our line that we're revolving it about. And this would this would mirror over here. Say we're revolving this about about the line x equal two. And so if we if we drew the uh, the shell in there. You know, it would look like this, and and we would have something like this. Okay, and it would look like this. Okay, and then we would have Okay, anyway, it would look something like this. All right, and that's what we're looking, uh, that's what we're trying to find, uh, the volume, okay? We're trying to find the volume of that. Now, keep in mind with the shell method, what do we need? We need the radius, right? The radius of the shell. We need the height of the shell, and we need this thickness right here. Well, what I like, I don't like to draw the whole thing because it just gets so cluttered up. You see, you see this right here? That's this piece right here. And you can see that the radius is that distance there. That's our radius. Okay? And then you can see the height of the shell is right here from the x axis up to here. So our height would be let's see let's just draw that out here here's our height and then our thickness here is dx so that's what we have to get in order to uh, 
in order to set up our integral. So remember, for the shell method, the volume is 2 pi times the integral, and then I need what? I need the radius, okay, times the height, times the thickness. And in and, and that's my integral right there. And then, of course, we need our limits on the integral. Okay, and we'll, we'll get those too. <clears throat> All right, so, so let's set that up. That's 2 pi times the integral. Now, it's so important to draw this rectangle in right here because let me tell you why. Because we get the thickness. We get this thickness of this rectangle, and we can see that thickness is dx. So what does that tell us? That tells us that everything needs to be in terms of x because I'm going to be integrating with respect to x. If this were dy, if the shell was going this way and the thickness was dy, then that tells me everything needs to be in terms of y. All right? So, let's get, let's get our radius, okay? What's our radius? Well, that's the distance from here to here. Remember, your radius, that's the distance from the rectangle to the axis you're rotating it about, okay? That's the radius from the rectangle to the axis you're rotating it about. So it's this distance here. Well, what is that distance from here to here? Well, I know from, from here to here is 2, right? And then from here to here would be what? That would be x units over, right? This rectangle is just, it's moved over x units. So this radius would be 2, and then I would have to then I would have to subtract off this x. You see that? It would be, let me see if I can do this. It would be the distance from here to here is two, but then I would need to subtract this off that x units, and that would leave me with my radius. Alright, so the radius is 2 minus x. There's my radius. And then I need the height. Well, what's the height? Well, from here, from here to here, that is actually, I go up y units, don't I? You see that? I go up y units. But remember, my thickness is dx, so yeah, I go up y units, but that has to be in terms of x. Well, what's y? y is 4 minus x squared. And so my height, y, that's what? 4 minus x squared. There's the height of the rectangle. And then times our thickness, dx. It's so important to put that thickness on there, to draw that rectangle and get that thickness. It's, it's going to be dx or dy, and that's going to let me know what term, what variable I need to be in. I need to be in terms of x. Okay, and now I need my limits. Well, that's going from 0 to 2. 0 to 2. And so now I'm ready to integrate. So I get 2 pi from 0 to 2. Uh, let's see, that's going to be 8 minus 2x squared minus 4x plus x cubed dx. Alright, so so let me, uh, I'm going to rearrange these terms a little bit here. And so that's going to be 2 pi and you know, rearranging the terms, you don't necessarily have to do that, but I'm I like to do that, so it's just a preference, really. It's going to get you the same answer either way. So I just write the function in descending powers. 
and so that's going to give me 2 pi times and then I integrate well that's 1 fourth x to the fourth minus 2 thirds x cubed minus 2x squared plus 8x and that's from 0 to 2 alright so that's that's what I get when I integrate it and so now let's plug everything in and so that's going to be 2 pi times and that's going to be 1 fourth times 2 to the fourth minus 2 thirds let me write that 3 better 2 thirds times 2 cubed minus 2 times 2 squared plus 8 times 2 and then minus now let's use a little common sense here I gotta plug the 0 in but obviously we can see what happens when we plug 0 in for x that's just gonna leave us with a 0 there okay alright and then you know do your arithmetic or punch it into your calculator whatever you need to do and we will get a final answer of 40 pi over 3 and that's your answer all right so the disk method method the shell method they're all easy as long as you draw the picture and you draw that rectangle in there okay I've got some other videos. I actually got a video on disk and washer method and the shell method. They're lecture videos. Go check those two out. They're almost an hour long, each of them. So check those out. I work a bunch of different examples in there. So hope the video helped. Check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See y'all in the next one. Later.